guys welcome back to the channel um so it's been a while since i posted a video uh had some things like work happen um i've actually started traveling again for my job so um haven't been at home as much so i haven't been able to uh to image um at my at my leisure but tonight is looking uh, very clear, very promising, and hopefully I'll be able to capture three objects in one frame. So I'm going to be using a 183 mono camera, so tonight I'm planning on shooting um, LRGB. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get a couple, uh, two, three nights in a row. Uh, well, we'll just see how, how it goes. Um, forecast is looking okay for tomorrow and the next day. Um, but like I said, uh, right now the skies are really clear. Um, I don't have to worry about a moon. Um, it won't be up till about 2 or 3 in the morning. And uh, I should have all night to image. So come on along and let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over the equipment that we're going to be using tonight. Um, I am going to be using my 80 millimeter uh, apochromatic uh, triplet. It is a refractor. Um, it has a focal length of 480 millimeters, so it's mid-level. Um, paired with the 183, it gives me a, a very nice uh, image scale. And it also kind of brings that uh, that field of view in a little bit. So, um, hoping that I'll be able to get uh, three galaxies in in frame. Um, uh, on top of the uh, the main uh, telescope, I'll have my 240 millimeter, uh, 60 millimeter um, guide scope. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be using the uh, the ZWO uh, ASI 183 mono camera, and I've got LRGB. This is Isaac's Isaac's camera and Isaac's filters, so I don't know the the what they are. I think they're astronomic uh, LRGB filters, but I'm not sure, and don't quote me on that. So um, it's all going to be on top of my Sirius mount. The mount will hold 30 pounds. This is way under 30 pounds, so I shouldn't have any problems there. Um, I'm going to be imaging in that direction there, which is north, and I should be able to um, capture uh, capture uh, my image all night long. All right, so here's uh, the skies that we're looking at tonight um, from my backyard. Um, as you can see, it's pretty clear I don't really see any any clouds in the sky I just have some palm trees and clear skies this is north right here and a house that I got to deal with but other than that here are my skies for the night
Um, well, we've got everything set up. I'm already starting to run some subs. Um, so let's just uh, go through and I'll show you what I'm trying to capture tonight. I think tonight, like I said, um, I think I'm going to have like three or four nights of, of uh, clear skies in a row. So I'm going to shoot luminance tonight and I'm just going to shoot it all night. Um, but let's go ahead and just kind of show you what I'm, uh, what I'm aiming for for tonight. So if we go into Stellarium, um, this is my target. So if you notice where I'm at, uh, this is in the Northern Hemisphere. We have the Big Dipper here. And this is the famous M81 and M82. In addition to M81 and M82, I'm also trying to capture this irregular galaxy here, which is NGC 3077, the Garland Galaxy. So I'm going to capture, hopefully I'm going to capture M81, Bode's Galaxy, uh, M82, the Cigar Galaxy, and NGC 3077. So this is the framing that I'm going for right here. I am taking 180 second um, sub exposures or um, uh, light frames. So let's go ahead and look at uh, guiding right now. So here we have guiding. <laughs> guiding looks really good right now. I'm just tickled pink with my guiding. Um, <clears throat> so I, so I moved the Sirius mount up a little more to the north of the observatory and leveled it out and and um, I used a Nina and Nina's uh, three star alignment or the polar alignment uh, utility and it seems to have worked is working really well so <clears throat> just I want to give a shout out to Logan from Logan's uh, astrophotography um, I asked him a couple questions about the Nina alignment and he was there to help me so thank you Logan uh, I really appreciate it um, it looks like uh, the alignment is working really well so thank you um, so yeah there's the alignment let's go ahead and take a look at some subs so here's the sub and it's luminance and I've got a lot of light pollution in that area so I mean, it doesn't look that great, but I mean, once I stack everything together, hopefully my signal to noise uh, ratio will be a lot better. Um, I'm planning on, like I said, shooting probably until about 1 or 1.30 in the morning. Uh, I think the moon comes out about 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. So I don't really want to shoot luminance with the moon out and even though it's going to be pretty far away um, I'd just rather not shoot with the moon um, but um, yeah so right now I've got uh, my program I'm programmed for 34 frames that'll take me right up to the meridian flip I'll do the flip and then I'll add the rest of them in there hopefully I'll get I don't know maybe like 60 60 uh, frames 60 light frames um, of luminance and I'm just going to do that for the red filter the green filter and the blue filter also so yeah fingers crossed everything goes well and like I said we're just I'll be watching guiding and monitoring everything tonight <clears throat> and hopefully uh, everything goes well
All right, guys. Uh, so this is going to be night two or night. Well, no. So wait, wait. Okay. So this is night three. Night two was last night. Uh, I got clouded over, if, as you've seen um, in the in the video. Um, so I'm set up. Tonight is supposed to be fairly clear. I think it's supposed to cloud up about one o'clock in the morning. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get um, some. Uh, red uh, data tonight uh, I'm just gonna let it run all night and in the meantime so we'll get this thing set up we'll get uh, we'll get aligned and everything um, but the sky's looking pretty good right now as you can see as you can see it's it's pretty clear there's no clouds right now no clouds in the sky at all so we're gonna go ahead and get get our uh, stuff finalized, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be cooking some. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be cooking some pollo asada tonight for the family. Um, so that's gonna be dinner. So we'll be doing some dinner and a picture tonight, hopefully. All right, guys. Well, let's see. We'll we'll, we'll follow up and see how things uh, see how things go. Hey guys, so it is uh, day four, I guess. Um, I'm still, I still need um, green and blue for my Bodes Galaxy uh, image. And I don't know if you can see it or if the wind is picking it up or not, but, or if the camera's picking it up or not, but it is like, Super windy here today. It it's kind of clear right now, but it's supposed to cloud over again. It's been cloudy all day long, um, so I don't think I'm gonna be getting any imaging done tonight. Uh, if we just look look in the background over there, there's a big big stack of clouds coming in. The wind's blowing this way, so all that's gonna be coming over here. Um, Palm trees are going crazy. We've probably got like 30, 30 mile per hour winds with like 50 mile per hour, 60 mile per hour gusts. So I think I'm just gonna hang out indoors and maybe do some processing or something tonight. But yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any imaging done tonight. It's just way too windy. Okay, so as you've seen, um, this project, the Bodes uh, Galaxies, or the Bodes, the Cigar, and the uh, Garland Galaxy, was really a difficult uh, project for me to, uh, to do. Not only did I have to image uh, four nights, uh, one for each, um, each filter, L, R, G, and B, um, I also had to deal with um, clouds, uh, wind, uh, weather, and um, and all that type of stuff. Um, it took me approximately a week to get uh, all of my uh, data, at least as much as I could get, <clears throat> um, and and stacked all that stuff and got it together. So, um, I, so for my luminance, so for my luminance filter, I was able to capture four hours and 12 minutes. Um, but of that, I only had three hours and 15 minutes that uh, was stackable. For the red filter, um, I managed to get five hours and 15 minutes, um, but only four hours and 34 minutes was usable. <clears throat> for my green filter, it was five hours and 12 minutes, uh, four hours and 39 minutes was usable. And for my blue filter, I had five hours and 12 minutes with four hours and 39 minutes usable. 
Um, so that came out to approximately, what, 4, 8, 12, 16, like 17 hours and, and some change. Um, this was the first time that I processed data that I captured in LRGB um, uh, using um, the monochrome camera, um, that the data that I captured. Um, so, I mean, it was kind of a roller coaster all week long. Um, forecasted clear skies, and then we clouded over. Uh, had uh, had a forecast of cloudy skies, and then I had clear skies, so I had to set up rather quickly. Um, fortunately, um, I have the observatory, so setup was basically just turning on the mount, doing a one-star alignment, and I was good to go. So it's a five-minute setup. Um, but I did manage to pull an image um, together, and I don't know that it's a very good image, but I, I think it's it's okay. I mean, for me, for my first uh, capture of LRGB, um, I think it came out pretty good. Um, so, I'll show you guys the... So, let me show you the image here in just a second. And uh, thanks again for hanging out with me um, and watching my video. Um, you know, uh, what else can I say? You guys are awesome. Um, but yeah, um, more to come. And here's the image, and I hope you enjoy. Hmm, what should I buy? Oh look, they're back in stock.